continue on our theme of gratitude. And this stillness practice is going to center around another way to cultivate gratitude in our day to day. It has to do with creating the conditions in our body so that we can create the space in our brain to infuse gratitude all day long. One way I do that is in a practice where I sit with my spine straight up, I roll my shoulders up, back, and down. I already feel my shoulder blades connecting to my spine. Um, there's a little curve in the bottom lower of my back. I tilt my pelvis forward, my chin back. My hands are nicely placed on my thighs, and I close my eyes. And for a moment, I just observe what's going on in my brain. And it doesn't take long for me to notice all the different negativity, bias, reactions, and thought patterns that are happening. And I just notice and watch and breathe. And then I choose one. I usually choose one that reoccurs more than once. Um, I call it the, the washing machine spinning cycle. And so if I, as I'm watching my brain, notice that there's one that's spinning again and again, I grab hold of that one. And I sit there with that for a minute and I breathe. I might even notice my body reacting to that thought because our nervous system uh, is always on board for us and wants to keep us safe and protect us. And this is my first hack. When I have that thought, that stressor, that's that arrow, that first arrow that I can't really control, I breathe into it. And on the exhale, I let it go. Next time I inhale, I see that and on the exhale, I start to see and visualize that dissipating, kind of breaking up, losing power. And then on the next breath, I think about something that I'm grateful with that, that stressor. This is not gratitude for sissies, my friends. This is taking something hard and seeing something possible something that we can glean from it. Now, if you've chosen something really difficult, maybe the positive thing is you're living through it. You can take that next breath. This takes intentional space and time, cultivating thoughts in our brain and offering our brain opportunities to flip the switch. We see it. We see our brain grab hold of it. We see our breath releasing it. And we can begin to offer our brain the opposite, something good, a gift. It's brain medicine, really. We are offering medicine to our brain because if we don't intentionally interrupt our negative thought patterns or our thought bias, it will continue. And we all know folks who they are kind, helpful, wonderful humans, but almost everything that comes out of their mouth is negative. That is not because they're negative people. It's because they're stuck in the negativity bias loop. In order for us to sidestep that, we get to practice gratitude. The really good news is that as we practice, we build stamina. 
And so soon you won't need those three by five cards. I still like them because I can forget things a lot. So they are helpful. They're a helpful tool for me. Um, and I know many folks who don't need those tools because they've infused or knitted gratitude into their day. They talk gratitude with their students at school. They talk gratitude with their colleagues at work. They build gratitude jars at home with their family and are very intentional about creating that practice on the daily, if not the hourly. That's the way we get it done, my friends. And as a community who's building gratitude together, there's not a place we can't get through together. So my offering to you is notice your second arrows, sit, practice, taking something hard. I would take something not so hard at first and then build on that. And then when you get really expert, as soon as you feel something really, really hard coming into your brain, you can immediately offer medicine of gratitude. Uh, lastly, I do want to share that sometimes some things are harder to let go of. And this practice of gratitude may not work the first, second, third time. Again, that's why it's called practice. Let me know how it's going, what you've tried, what questions you might have, and areas and ways that you've created gratitude. And so we can keep this gratitude train flowing and growing. Have a beautiful day.